Alright guys, thank you for clicking on the video today. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a, a weird video. Uh, it's just kind of a combination of a couple of videos that I would never actually fully finished um, combined together to make one video. Um, so the two videos is going to be the um, installation and wiring of the boost controller as well as uh, the little bit of turbo tuning that I did when I installed the big turbo. Um, so the plan for those two videos was that I would do the video for the boost controller, show you how I wired it up, um, show you how I had the, you'll, you'll see the idea that I had, but show you how I wired it up and then um, showing you it in action and how it's working. So I, I did that and I was waiting to get the turbo installed to do the video. Once I got the turbo installed, as we seen, I, uh, well, tuned it on 91, put it on E85, blew up the transmission, rebuilt the transmission, put it back on 91. So my 91 tune is very like mild and turbo with 0% wastegate duty cycle, makes 18 PSI. And the uh, tune that I have for the big turbo for 91 is just at like 20% duty cycle, so it's not really doing much, but it bumps it to 20 PSI. Um, so I didn't really, I didn't really want to make the video for the turbo tuning for just seeing me do those little changes, um, but figured I would combine these two videos and it should be the correct, you know, length and give you guys some good information. And then just so you know, there once I do the six-speed swap, I'll continue the tuning procedure for the turbo and the E85. We'll get a better look at how changing you know wastegate duty cycle affects boost and stuff but when you're only increasing boost two psi off wastegate it doesn't really give you a good explanation but uh hopefully you'll get you know kind of the basis of the idea that i'm going for here and then once i get the car back on e85 then i will you know make a new video on all the tuning stuff and uh hopefully it'll give you a bigger picture of what the goal is when you're tuning a turbo car. So here's the new boost control solenoid. Uh, and you can see there's two wires coming off. Uh, for this switch, you're gonna have to pick one of these wires, it doesn't matter which, um, and you're gonna splice into it. So you need a four pin relay for this one. And you're gonna have your switched power coming in through pin 85. And then you're gonna have your ground coming off 86. And then um, pin 30 is going to go to the boost control solenoid uh, end of the wire, and then pin 87 is going to go to the ECU side of the wire. So it's essentially doing the same thing that the anti-lag is doing, except when there's no power to the switch, it's not connected. And then when you apply power to the relay, uh, it connects the two lines and it allows the boost control solenoid to function. So basically what this is doing is it's unplugging one of these wires when the switch is in the off position so that the car uh, runs on the wastegate duty cycle. So it limits the boost to whatever your wastegate set to. With the new turbo in my case, the boost is gonna be set to 15 PSI wastegate. So it'll be maxing out at 15 PSI and then when I want the full boost tune, which uh, on E85 should be 25 PSI, I flip the switch and it connects the wire to the ECU and it allows the computer to control the boost control solenoid like it does normally. Uh, and that will allow it to do its thing to get 25 PSI boost. So that's basically how it's going to be working with the two stage system. So we have a stage one or a low boost setting, which is the switch off. And then the switch on is the high boost setting. Uh, so that's how it's gonna work. So I got a blue and yellow wire here and I'm going to put the terminals on to plug into the relay box in the corresponding pins. And I'm gonna leave these ones without a terminal for now cause I need to figure out what length of wire I want here. And I'm gonna splice one end into here and then I'm gonna run the other end just straight into the, um, the pigtail connector that I got just to keep things uh, clean. So uh, I'm gonna get the terminals on this end right here.
I got the boost control solenoid sort of in its position and the wires kind of routed how I want them to be. Um, so what I'm going to do, so I have these two wires down here. Let me grab them. I have the blue and, blue and the yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the blue wire directly to one of these terminals so that it plugs into there. And then the yellow wire, I'm going to put a bullet connector on it and connect it to one of these wires where the other end of the bullet connector is going to be. Then the other wire is just going to go straight to the terminal into the plug. There we have that one connected so that it plugs directly into the... So now that it's wired up, we need to do some line routing. So port one on the boost control solenoid is going to go to this um, hose in the intake. You could also do it to atmosphere, but uh, that only really works if you're running a speed density system um, because you're letting out um, air that's already been metered by the MAF sensor. So your fueling is going to be incorrect for that second that it lets this out to the atmosphere. So I'm going to have to run some sort of uh, adapter to go from 8th inch to uh, 3 8 inch. Uh, but I'm going to try to tuck that back here so you can't really see it. Uh, and then port number 3 goes to the fitting on the turbo, which is kind of hard to see, but it's down there. Um, and then port 2 goes to the fitting on the wastegate. So um, I'm going to start routing some hoses and get that ready. Alright, so this is kind of trashy, but... 3 8 inch, 7 30 seconds to 8 inch. So three, two adapters, three different hose sizes. Uh, but this one's going to plug in to this guy right here. So I think the next two I'm going to route is going to be these two. I'm just going to route them down under here. Um, I need to figure out what sizes those are. Give you an idea of what we got going on here with the line routing. So, uh, taps into here, the adapters down here. Uh, so you can't really see it too much, but you can see the adapter there. And then it loops back up into here. That goes to the intake box. This one goes over to the turbo. So it just goes underneath the adapters underneath the manifold, plugs in there somewhere. This one, same thing, goes underneath adapters down here, and it plugs into the uh, wastegate right there. So pretty simple line routing. Uh, and then as far as the wiring goes, so one black wire from the boost controller goes into the connector and is not cut. Uh, the harness from the ECU is the same. I haven't messed with it. So there's the two wires are spliced between the connector and here on one of the black wires. And then those two wires go, go down here into a, the relay box that's down here and connect to the relay. So when you come in the car, this switch right here is for my boost control solenoid. So with the switch in this position, uh, it's not sending power to the relay, so the uh, connections are disconnected. And then when I flip it up, this sends power to the uh, relay and it connects the two wires, allowing the signal from the ECU to go to the boost control solenoid. This is 18 PSI on wastegate pressure. This is 20 PSI with the current wastegate duty cycle table that I have set up. All right, guys, so um, I'm out here doing some tuning. Uh, we're working on tuning the boost pressures and stuff like that today. So um, let me just show you what I've done so far. So um, the maps that I've touched, um, so I got the target boost. I kind of took the stock target boost map and I just kind of ramped up 
the top end um, right here to 20 PSI. Uh, and I looked at a graph. Let's see if I can pull it up for you guys. Um, this might not come across on camera very well. But uh, I kind of looked at the boost curve, which is this green. Or wait, yeah, the green one on the bottom right here. And I seen where it's hitting what PSI. So I see it at 3600 RPMs, it's making 16 PSI. And then as it gets to the top end, it's making 18. So I want to make 20 PSI. Um, total pretty flat for 91. So you can see right here from 3600 to 8000, I put 20 PSI. And then I kind of tapered it off a little bit. So it's 15 PSI at 2800, which I might not be able to hit, but we'll see. Uh, but you kind of want to aim your targets just a smidge higher than you can actually do. And that kind of helps with the spool up. It, it makes it get up to that um, boost pressure quicker. And then I just kind of smoothed it out with the stock graph here because this gives it, you know, decent drivability so that the boost isn't snapping on it, you know, quarter throttle. Uh, so they're pretty the wastegate duty side or the target boost down here are pretty chill um, So I did that for the target boost We're gonna aim for those if I can squeak a little bit more boost out down low. I'll try uh, But we'll see how that goes um, initial wastegate and uh, Max wastegate duty cycle. I have them set to the same thing right now. I just put some 20 psi across the top that just helps us or not 20 psi. Sorry 20% duty cycle up top 10% in this space right here. This is just sort of mimicking the stock one, which is, well, not stock, but the one I modified before. This is the one I modified before. Um, so I'm kind of mimicking this shape, uh, but running 20 PSI or 20% and 10%. And what you want to do when you do wastegate duty cycle tuning is you just kind of want to start at zero and just work your way up until you hit your boost targets. Um, so for for this one, I'm probably not going to have to mess with the wastegate duty cycle too much because I'm already um, almost at my targets at uh, zero wastegate duty cycle. So shouldn't need too much tweaking, but uh, we're going to go do a pull with this uh, and see what it does. We'll come back and look at the, um, the data. see as I go full throttle we max out 20 p 20 percent duty cycle uh, and the boost is climbing let's see the rpm so like I said at 36 we're targeting 20 psi and 36 we're at 14 psi so uh, I might increase the duty cycle a little bit more right there but past that we are hitting 20 psi and holding it let's see if it boost creeps at the end yeah we're holding 20 psi the whole way through so uh, i think this for 91 at least the tune should be fine um it's going to need a little bit of work up at the top end and it looks like i hit 21 but that's not that big of a deal um i think that might be overwind or something like that but um, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna need a little bit of work up front. I might add some more wastegate duty cycle to the front just because you see it maxes out, and we're getting closer to my target. So I'm gonna try to add maybe another 10% wastegate duty cycle to the low RPM and see if that can help us spool up a little quicker. And then um, and then right in this spot right here, you can see the wastegate duty cycle kind of dips. I might try to um, you can see it's at in the middle. It's at 15 psi. So in this RPM range, I might taper it down a little bit so it's not artificially having to dip because um, I think that caused a little bit of a boost surge. But I'm going to start with just messing with the front and you can see my AFRs are pretty good. We're a little rich up at the end so I might have to do a little bit of AF scaling because it's after 7,000 RPMs which I didn't touch before. So I'll, I'll mess with that a little bit too but we're going we're gonna to do both of those. So I'll be back once I've done those changes. Alright, so 
so um i think that's probably going to be about where i leave it at because this looks real good um you can see this these two lines right here this is my fueling it's spot on right now um so that little change i made up top helped uh we had one little knock event but i have uh i've been using this audio knock system so i have some headphones hooked up to a knock sensor um so i've been listening to it and i didn't hear any knock while i was uh doing that pull it gets a little noisy up at the like the top end um so it's probably not going to need any more timing up top but i'm probably gonna have to add some in the bottom down here a little bit i like to do my 91 tunes kind of conservative because i don't like the um i don't like the risk of knocking and, and i'm mostly running on e85 so i don't need it to be that aggressive so we're gonna keep it um keep it where it's at now uh i'm gonna probably smooth out the graph a little bit but um you can see I didn't get any, uh, you know, increase in spool by popping the duty cycle up to 30%. So I'm just going to leave it at 30% because you could see when I get into full wide open throttle here, uh, it quickly shoots up to 30% um, percent duty cycle. And as the boost increases, before it even hits peak boost, as it hits 11 PSI, it starts to taper off and goes down to 20 uh, primary wastegate duty cycle and it holds that all the way to red line and it's rock solid on 20 psi let me rescale this graph so it'll uh there we go so now you can see that green line on the bottom graph down here it's just holding rock solid at 20 psi so um it's nothing to to worry about there um it dips a little down to like 19 but that's okay uh it's got wastegate duty cycle to go in so it obviously doesn't think it needs it uh so i'm gonna do uh i'm gonna clean up the graphs here or the the tables make them clean make them match right um and then you usually want like a I, I think it's like 20% difference between your max and your initial d tables. So since my max table right here is only like 30 PSI, uh, I might drop this down to 10 again, just because I don't need really that much wastegate duty cycle in here. It's just to help the spool up on the bottom end. Uh, and clearly it helped because uh, on this one, we, we hit full boost 20 PSI at 4000 rpms the last one we hit it at 3800 rpms so uh, it's pretty good spool for this big turbo uh, it feels good and um i think on the last setup at 3500 rpms i was making 15 psi it's making 9 psi but it's probably making way more horsepower uh so i'm going to do a couple more pulls make sure everything's good um and then we're going to start messing with timing a little bit Alright, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully you got something useful or some sort of knowledge out of it. Um, hopefully the uh, six speed swap will go smoothly and I'll be able to start making some more tuning videos for you guys. So those should be out, out at some point after the six speed swap. We'll get back on the 85 and we'll continue the tuning and I'll do a better video of explaining timing and boost control and all that stuff. So stay tuned for that. Um, if you like the video, please leave a like. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. If you aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.